Hey guys, Jake Blow the Habitat Pro here. I'm uh, just showing you a 100% near 100% monoculture of glossy buckthorn in here. Um, this is in one little corner and you can see all the dead stuff. These are the ones that have pruned themselves out and then all of the seed underneath here, this is all buckthorn. And looking around in here, I have not seen one top browsed off of any of this. And if these were preferred species for deer, I mean this is right along a deer trail right here. And not one top has been browsed off. Sadly, this is, I don't know how far gone, but um, a lot of work. You gotta identify these buckthorn, buckthorn trees when they're getting started because uh, this is a long ways gone. A lot of money and time to recover this. Deer desert. As far as food is concerned. Just did a small area of foliar application of triclopyr and we got a good kill right here. You can see all the anything green underneath is what you know was covered by the canopy when we sprayed last year. So this is you know what you can expect but you can see now what um, buckthorn does once you kill it, you've got no understory just because it is 100% a uh, takeover type plant. does not let anything natural go. But the good news is, is the big ones that you see right next to me here, all around me, those are all box elder and they drop seed like crazy. So we just got to get this buckthorn out of the way and forest will come back. But Man, would have been a lot easier if somebody would have noticed that first tree 20, 30 years ago, whatever this was, and, and we wouldn't be dealing with that and having to do this before we can build our bedding areas. So get out there and take a look, guys. Memorize buckthorn, see what it looks like, know what it looks like, and Kill it when it's small if it's uh, in your woods. This is Jake Blow Habitat Pro in northern Minnesota.